Anyways, we're gonna ignore that, whatever the hell that was, right? And we're gonna move on, back on home, to the town that I forgot the name of. Elm Street. I don't know. Newbark Town, that's where I live. Okay. Are you guys ready to see how, how my spelling is? Because I'm terrible. For some reason, I don't know how to spell the word silver. <laughs> I, heard a, I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Prof. Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. He was so beautiful. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Alright. This is where you would call your trainer, uh, your trainer, your rival, you know, by the name of dickhead and loser and whatever, right? But, uh, we're just gonna go by his official name. Hope I can spell correctly. Because <laughs> I don't know how to spell silver. <laughs> For some reason, my brain doesn't know how to spell the word silver. Let me look it up, actually, before I fuck it up. Yes, that's right, I'm looking it up. I'm sorry, I failed you, okay? For all the useless information about the fucking bubonic plague that I have in my mind right now. For some reason, I do not know how to spell the word silver, right? Yeah, I was definitely about to spell sliver. <laughs> sliver. <laughs> I was definitely about to give him the name Sliver. <laughs> the I comes before. The I becomes before the L. Keep that in mind, brain. Keep that in mind. For some reason, I don't. I don't. It's giving me flashbacks to when I was like... When I was like, you know, in kindergarten. And I was, for some reason, they decided to throw me in a spelling bee. And I made it to like the top three or whatever, but the one word- I could spell every goddamn word on the list, but the one word I couldn't spell with the fucking word blue. And, for some goddamn reason, just- just because the wrath of God felt like striking me down that day, right? They gave me the word blue to spell and I fucked it up. Of course I fucked it up. And then I lost. Came in third place, I was mad. <laughs> I knew every- I'm sitting there, I'm like, everything besides the word blue, please. <laughs> How do you spell blue? Fuck! <laughs> B-L-U-E? I don't know. Okay, so Silver was his name. And being a bitch is his game. Thanks for helping my investigation. And I will now do what most police do. abso fucking lootly nothing Alright, that's a joke, guys. Calm down. Calm down. Put your fucking... Put your knives and your fucking pitchforks down. It was a joke. Alright? Police are very valuable to society, okay? Damn. I- I can already feel the hate coming towards my way, and now that I said police are fucking valuable, I can feel the other side of the hate. Can't we just love each other? Fire. This is terrible. Oh yes. What was Mr. Pokemon Big's discovery? Handed the mystery egg to Prof- uh, Pr Prof Elm. <laughs> this? But... It's a Pokemon egg. If it is... It is a great discovery. What? Profo gave you a Pokedex. Fire, is that true? That's... Incredible. He is superb at seeing the po- the potential. The potency. The potential of people as trainers. Wow, Fire. You may have what it takes to become the champion. Listen, I'm not sure about that. You sound like one of those parents that, like, look at their kid, throws him in a fucking football game, and watch him get beat up by all the other kids and go, Oh my god, you can be in the NFL. You seem to be getting getting on great with Pokemon, too. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City. Fire, the road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. But I don't want to fight battles. I want to be a coordinator. A Pokemon coordinator. That doesn't exist until Gen 3 and it leads absolutely nowhere. <laughs> Fire. Use these on your Pokedex quest. Now I got these balls in my hand. I feel like a man. <laughs> Throw balls at wild Pokemon to get them. Fire put the balls in his backpack. 
For some reason, I'm saying I'm, I'm just calling them balls. I'm not calling them pokeballs. I'm not even trying to do that on purpose. Anyways, mother, a mother dearest. Wow, that's a cute Pokemon. Where'd you get it? Did, did it? What? What? Wait, I thought you knew that Elma's. Didn't she say Elma would give me a Pokemon earlier? Did I imagine it? I imagined it, didn't I? So you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? Absolutely nothing. Don't call me. I know. I'll save money for you. <laughs> I know. I'll take all your money. <laughs> Just like a true parent that puts their kids to work early. Oh, Hollywood, how you never change. On a long journey, money's important. That's why I'm gonna keep it for you. Do you want me to save your money? No, Mom. It's my money, and I need it now. Be careful. Pokemon are your friends. You need to work as a team. Now go on. Get the fuck out my house. Since you think you're so grown. <laughs> since you're so fucking grown, get out of my house. <laughs> it just becomes super real. Who the fuck... I've seen you a couple of times now. I've been watching in the grass. Many Pokemon... Uh, wait, what? Many Pokemon have you caught? Did he, did he ask me how? Did he say how before? Would you like me to show you how to capture them? No. Oh, fine then. Anyways, if you want to catch Pokemon, you gotta walk a lot. Who the fuck asked you? What? Well, anyways, you gotta walk a lot, guys. Pokemon, all right. It's fucking. I just want to help, dickhead. I've been watching you. Sounds like every gamer that tries to get a date, right? Sees a girl. Oh, go walk up to her and say hi. I've been watching you from afar. <laughs> what? It's a ra ta 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 ta. Look at him shake that little booty. Shake what your mama gave you. Fuck him up, Mimi! Get him! Ridge Leaf! Before you guys ask, I mean, I said it in my- I said it in one of my other playthroughs, right? But before you guys ask, yes, I have been playing Xenoblade 3. Yes, I did beat Xenoblade 3. And no, I didn't act- I actually didn't call Chikorita Mimi because of Xenoblade 3. It just so happened to be like that, because even in, during my test playthrough, like, months ago, I was like, I wanna call it. I was like, I wanna call Chikorita Mimi. I like it. I don't know why. Get him, Mimi! Fuck him up! And then, you know, Xenoblade 3 came out, and, you know, Mio, Sina calls her Mimi. So I'm like, yeah, fuck him up, Mimi! <laughs> That's a good game. That's a good game. I know it's not that effective, but, you know, you get that stab damage. You know, that stab damage, for some reason, the word that I couldn't remember in fucking... The phrase I couldn't remember in, in the Pokemon Red and Blue playthrough. I'm like, what? I'm like, what's the extra damage called? Aw, oh, man. It's, ah, it's, oh, what is it? Same type attack bonus or something? Stab damage, idiot. It's called stab damage. Anyways, now we got Pokeballs. Now we can go and trade our Pokemon. And go grab our mischievous because we need to do it now. Because if we don't do it now, then we'll it'll never be a good time to get mischievous. And I would like to show off mischievous, you know, for the playthrough. So I will be right back. This might be the end of the part. I'm not sure. Bum, 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 bum. Would you like to overwrite your save data? Yes, I. I will over. Write my data, then use a save state, and then take the other GBA and link. Goodbye, you bird bitch. Take good care of Hoot Hoot, trust me, I won't. <laughs> Ooh. 
mistress who sent fire. Take good care, mistress. I will. Trade complete. Alright. Now, we have... Hex Girl. Say hello to the team, guys. And by guys, I mean gal. Hex Girl, who is 100% a dude. <laughs> but you know what? It's the year 2022. You can't say anything anymore. <laughs> Mischievous is a ghost-type Pokemon. Mischievous comes with the moves Psywave, well, at least out of the egg, right? Psywave and Growl. Special attacker Mischievous is. Um, and I didn't... <laughs> on my test playthrough, I didn't give myself a proper name, so there you go. <laughs> it's ah. Anyways. So, Mischievous will be a lovely addition to the team. And... Unlike, you know, Gen 1 where we showed off what Psychic types can do, time to show off what Ghost types can do. Now that we have our Mischievous in hand, Hex Girl, <laughs> which came out, which is a boy. Mischievous can be anything she wants to be. Time to get our next Pokemon on our team. It's not Hoo Hoot. You know, sucks that, uh, actually, Mr. Viss, what, what is Psywave? That's a psychic type move, right? So I can use you. Right? Oh, you can't really check moves in, in gen, okay. I'll figure it out. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Relief. I'm kind of close to my microphone. I should really back off a little bit. Critical hit. Not very effective. Fuck you, hoo-hoo. You can't see for shit, even though you're an owl. Who else thought that hoo-hoo used to have one leg? <laughs> it has two legs. It just likes to perch on one, which makes it look weird. It's kind of like Torchic in Gen 3, where you look at its back sprite, and it's just like, it looks like one of its legs is cut off, and you're just like, what the fuck? Who did this to you? Good job, Mimi. But let's Mr. Vis get some action in, alright? Gotta earn that keep. So, oh shit, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Wait, no. I went the right way. Right? Up here's the two trainers. Yeah, okay. Now their epic battle is finished. They want to battle me. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on. Let's battle. Huh? We'd like to battle. So, in addition to new Pokemon and new moves and typing changes, Pokemon trainers now have names. So, Youngster Joey will go down in history <laughs> as the first named Pokemon trainer. Technically Silver, but I mean, Silver didn't have a name until we gave him one, so who cares? Youngster Joey, your name will be written across all time and how much you like shorts, and how they're easy and comfy to wear. Anyways, go! Psywave! Because we're Ghost-type, Rattata cannot attack us with its pathetic normal moves. So this is what I call free XP, baby. Oh, you wish you can hit me with that tail whip. But we're gonna have to train up Mr. Viss, okay? And for some reason, Psywave is doing not that much damage, sadly. I wonder why. <laughs> like, we're not that weak, are we? Mr. Viss, don't make me regret putting you on a team. I didn't really, like, every other Pokemon I got to test out, right? You know, for our team. But Mischievous, I didn't have time to test out Mischievous because I had to go grab one from fucking Mount Silver. And I didn't feel like running through Kanto on my test playthrough. I just wanted to run through the main stuff, you know? Post-game can be post-game. <laughs> my defense won't drop anymore. <laughs> Stop it, he's already dead! 
Yeah, you did it, Mr. Rose. Get that free XP. Gained a boosted. I don't know why. I don't... Does it always say boosted? Is that the first time I realized that? Boosted. Hmm. Nice girl. Learn spite. Sounds right. <laughs> Eck. I lost again. Doggone it. Fight me with your Rattata, weakling. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. I don't gotta do shit. You can't make me, even though you totally can make me. Youngster Mikey wants to battle. Ah, uh, Joey sounds better. Sorry, Mikey, your name will not go down in history. Oh no, Pidgey! It can actually attack us. So, a bunch of changes to some moves have been made within Gen 1. Number 1 is Gust. Gust is no longer a normal type move. It is a flying type move. Right? I don't think this Pidgey has guts the uh guts. Has gust though, because it's level two. Okay, so what the fuck question? Hex girl, what's going on with the uh, with Psywave? Why why is it doing good sometimes and terrible terrible other times? What what's happening here? I might have to look up what Psywave does. And why it's and why it's so shitty. About to use Rattata. Yeah, we're gonna switch out because you're gonna run out of moves real fast. <laughs> Go Mimi. Let me actually look up what Psy Wave does because it's kind of weird how that damage is coming out. Let's see. Psy Wave. Alright, let me see. What the hell is the deal with Psywave? Uh, it's a damage dealing psychic type move introduced in Generation 1. Oh, it's a Generation 1 move? Really? It was TM46, Generation 1, Generation 2. It was a signature move of Mischievous. The effect of Psywave. Generation 2, Psywave inflicts a random amount of damage varying between 1 HP and 1.5 times the user's level. The damage is always rounded down, however, Psy Wave will always deal at least 1 HP of damage. Psy Wave does not take weaknesses or resistances into account. However, type immunity is not ignored. What the fuck? <laughs> it does random sets of damage? Oh, mischievous. Don't make me regret. Don't make me regret what I'm doing. <laughs> it's a signature move. That's strange, I won before. Well, I'm not the guy from before, okay? I love how there's like someone right outside my door. Every time I record, right outside my door, having a full-blown conversation as loud as they possibly can. Oh my god. Do you see what I see? Oh fuck, why are you here, Mr. <laughs> Fucking, here you go, side wave, do something, I don't know. Don't kill it. <laughs> Thank you. Do you see what I see? I see our next Pokemon, if I can capture it. That's right. Our next Pokemon is going to be Spinarak. Later evolves into Ariados. Someone, I remember I said Ariados around someone and they said it's pronounced Ariados and then I looked at them and I said, no. 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 Ariados. Ah, come on, why are you so strong? What the hell, Mimi? Oh, Mimi, what the hell? Now I gotta go and run to the Polka Center, Polka Battle Center. Damn it. Damn it, Mimi! I wanted that. Hex girl, get the fuck out the way! <laughs> You're useless right now! You're useless to me, you hear that? You're a failure! You know what? That that's kind of like. <laughs> now that I think about it, that kind of suck. Wait, Zubats are out here in the wild? Really? I thought you were in caves. What the hell? Fuck off, Zubat. 
I want to catch my Spinarak now, damn it. I need my Spinarak. There we go. It's literally the same exact one. Don't kill it, Mimi. For fuck's sake. There we go. Good job, Mimi. Poisoning Sting's gonna hurt, though. Super effective. I've been poisoned. Fuck. God damn it. You're gonna make life difficult, aren't you, Spinarak? I only got three Pokeballs. Please, please just get in the Pokeball. Oh my god, you're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, huh? This is- this is what's gonna happen? This is what we're doing here? Fucking- oh, god damn it, you piece of shit. You didn't expect that berry, because I didn't expect it either. Haha. -ha. Totally forgot you had it. But now it's gone, so... It's kind of a waste anyways. Oh my f- Spinarak? Spinarak, hello? Hi. It's me. It's your guy, Fire. Please stay in the Pokeball. For fuck's sake. Please, Spinarak. I got cookies, you want some? Thank you. That's why you're not getting no cookies, bitch. Give a mouse a cookie, it'll always come back. It prey becomes ensnared. Its nest of spun strings is is well. It waits motionlessly until it what? Did I have a stroke reading that? What the fuck? It waits motionlessly until it a uh, motion motionless. Oh fucking Christ! Until it becomes dark. Give it a name. Hell yeah. Your name will be Miles. But since I can't put Miles, we don't have enough space. I wanted to name it Miles Maractus. <laughs> but instead, we're just gonna have to suffice with Miles Marac. But at heart, you will always be known as Miles Maractus. <laughs> oh my god. Chikorita's dying. Oh shit! Chikorita's dead. Oh no, and with that, my friendship meter went down for Chikorita. That's right. Friendship is now a, va a stat, an invisible stat in the world of Pokemon. It was introduced in Pokemon Yellow, but it is now here in Gen 2 for every Pokemon instead of just your Pikachu. Great. And along with that comes Friendship Evolutions. One of the Pokemons that have that is... Zubat. Evolved into Golbat at level 32 or whatever the hell. And if its friendship is high enough, it evolves into Crobat, which is a really good Pokemon, and every time I see Crobat, I forget that it's bigger than what it looks like. That is a giant Pokemon. Alright. But now, we got our Poke Buddies, right? And with that, we have three Pokemon, and three Pokemon is enough to challenge ourselves a gym. So. We're gonna do that once, uh, we get some training under the wing, but first, we have to get to the city in order to do that. Mm, mm, mm. Now, I'm really hoping that Mischievous down the road will be really good. Because if not, then I fucked up incredibly. Mainly for the fact that, um, that Spinarak here, you know, Miles Maractus, right? Not that good of a Pokemon. It's one redeeming quality is that it learns Nightshade pretty early, which is a a new poke a new Ghost type move. I don't think. Wait, no, Nightshade was in Gen One. That was the other move in Gen One. It was Nightshade. I remember. But anyways, Nightshade does the amount of damage that your Pokemon it does eh, whatever level your Pokemon is. That's the amount of damage it does. So it gets stronger every time it levels up. So if you ever need a guaranteed kill, right, that isn't like a quick attack or something, you just throw that Nightshade up. Also, for some reason, uh, Spinarak and Ariados, not Ariados, fuck you, Ariados, is a, uh, I don't care how it's pronounced, I'm pronouncing it the way I want to. 
It's a physical attacking Pokemon? Which is like... What? <laughs> you are so gonna die, Miles Maractus. Oh my god. You are so gonna die. Oh my god, we're gonna have to train you up. Oh, we're gonna have to train you up. Now, maybe you got this. Earn your love. Earn your love for me, Spinarak. I'll give you a little help, okay? Because you're definitely not gonna survive it. <laughs> you're definitely not gonna survive it. Oh, also, uh, one thing I forgot to say with trainer battles, they now have power points just like your Pokemon. So no longer will you fight Elite Four's Dugon and have it rest every five seconds. <laughs> and just never die, right? All right. So now that we see what you guys can do, I'm gonna have to put you guys on a strict training regimen. I'm not gonna overpower my Pokemon. I'm gonna try not to overpower my Pokemon, which is really easy to do in Gen 2 because, again, um, I'm not a trainer, but if you look one in the eyes, prepare to battle. Because Gen 2, you know, the Johto region is very small, very compact, right? And that means, that means all your, uh, all your battles will be within a certain range of levels. I don't think they go above level 43, maybe, I think is like the highest Pokemon you fight in Johto. And that's like the champion's Pokemon, maybe 46. Which sounds like a lot, but really isn't. <laughs> Nowhere near like Pokemon Emerald anyways, right? Instead of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. Dawn would like to battle. It's the Dawn. Oh, Caterpie, you adorable little bastard. Caterpie is one of those Pokemon that will only be adorable within Pokemon. If you ever brought this thing into the real world, I would, I would shit myself. <laughs> I would just look at it, Caterpie, big ass fucking caterpillar, just like crawling up to you, going. And then you're just like, get away from me. Like, everyone gives Misty a lot of shit, right? But imagine, imagine that in real life. Imagine a big fucking caterpillar in real life. Like, you know those giant, like, African slugs? Like, imagine caterpillar, right? And then after that, it turns to a giant butterfly. Butterflies aren't adorable close up. Only far away. The fact that you can't see their faces make them adorable. But once you look into their eyes, you wanna- <laughs> it's like staring into Mothra, <laughs> you're just like, oh god. Okay, so, here's one thing I'm not sure of, maybe I need to look it up or something. But, I don't think Gen 2 has effort values. So EV training isn't a thing yet, at least I don't think it is. It might be. But I don't think it is. I don't think that happens until Gen 3. Or maybe it was added within Crystal. Anyways, uh, here in the ROM or whatever, this is where you would find a Cinequil and fight it in Perfect Crystal or whatever, if, you, if you're playing that. You know, but we're not gonna go grab ourselves a Cinequil. We're not gonna do that. We have a fire type in mind, and it's a pretty goddamn good one. I didn't read anything you said. I'm just pressing the button. I should know. What the hell did you even say? Huh? I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. If I were a wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. Zs. So basically that guy's just saying like, Hey man, uh, status effects helps that couch and Pokemon. Weaken them, hit them with paralysis or sleep or freeze them or burn them. You know, or poison even. Makes them easier to catch. Razor Leaf. Now, here in the Johto Battle League Johto Poke League Battle Johto, right? Uh, we're gonna have... It, I'm gonna try my best not to make Mimi the star of the show all the damn time. Right? 
uh, something about Pokemon. I didn't even read what the fuck you said. Let's battle. But, you know, Chikorita is so goddamn good. Meganium is so goddamn good that it's like sometimes you just gotta solve a problem or two and you just gotta pull out Meganium. Meganium is slept on. Stop sleeping on Meganium. I still think Bayleaf is like the best design out of the whole tree. Tree? What is it? A fucking evolution tree? Out of the whole evolution line, right? But, uh, Meganium's awesome. Level 11. Oh shit, I'm not trying to switch out Pokemon. I'm not gonna put you guys through that. We're not gonna have a fucking Metapod battle. Use Harden! Oh yeah, well use Super Harden! You know what? Now that I think about it, that whole episode of Ash and like the bug catcher fucking just sitting there yelling at that Metapod to use Harden in front of, in front of uh, Misty. It's literally just a dick measuring contact, contest, you know? It's Right in front of the girl. Use Harden. Yeah, well, I use Super Harden. Oh, yeah, Ultra Harden. And Misty's just not impressed, not having that shit. She's like, no. She's like, boys will be boys. Better not fucking poison me. Oh my god, stop pressing the fucking... <laughs> Sometimes you just go into auto mode, you know? You go into autopilot, and you just start pressing the goddamn A button. How the fuck did you miss? Mimi? How did you miss? I expect better of you, Mimi. It's back in the ball for you. <laughs> that has to be, like, one of my favorite jokes from, like, John Tron, right? Just like the bootleg Pokemon fucking episode. And he's all like, he's all like, the game over screen is like Pikachu all beaten up on the ground, and Ash is just sitting there going like, Get up, Pikachu. Or it's back in the ball for you. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that's so fucked up. It's funny as shit, though. I like it. Speaking of Pokeballs, we just picked one up. That's cool. That's cool. We're, we're Pokemon trainering. I found a good Pokemon in the Dark Cave. I'm gonna raise it to take on Faulkner. So in the Dark Cave, there's some, you know, you got Zubats. And you got some Geodudes. If you want a rock type, go fight Faulkner. He uses flying type. Go grab yourself a Geodude. And make it easy for yourself. Right? But we're not gonna do that. Also, I should get into the habit of talking to people in this goddamn game. But at the same time, since, uh, you know, we're limited in what we got, we can only have a certain amount of items. Maybe I shouldn't talk to everyone. Not until Gen 3, where we get beautiful unlimited inventory. Back in the day where everyone used Game Sharks. Amazing, right? So we're here in Violet City. A couple of things to do in Violet City. First of all, it's the gym. But even more than a gym, up here, you got the Bell Sprout Tower, which I recommend you go and train at. You know? Well, you're gonna have to do it regardless, but before you hit the gym, you go and train at it, right? Because Faulkner, even though not that difficult, has a, has a, has a tier 2 Pokemon in the form of Pidgeotto. And Pidgeotto will wreck your shit if you're not ready, right? It's not as difficult as Whitney. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Not Whitney, oh no, but we got plans for that, don't worry, right? People say that it, be that it became the center of pillar- wait, what? What the fuck did you say to me, lady? A bell sprout over 100 feet tall. People say that it became the center pillar here. Well, that's dumb. That's dumb, you're dumb, you're stupid, stop talking to me. <laughs> so, Miles Maractus will thrive in this environment, but he'll die a lot, so. See the pillar shaking? People are training upstairs. Isn't that like a... Isn't that like a fucking hazard? <laughs> Sprout Tower was built long ago as a place for training Pokemon. Nice. Only if you reach the top will you obtain an HM. Well, we need that HM. Because, unfortunately, HMs will be the plague of our existence. 
until generation six? Right? Is X and Y the first one to do away with that bullshit? X and Y is six, right? Yeah, X and Y is six. In my mind, I fuse like X and Y and Sun and Moon together because they just both feel so fucking similar and disappointing. <laughs> Well, a little bit, you know, not, you know, X and Y is just overall disappointing, honestly. However, uh, how, however, why did I say it like that? However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. Unless you have a fire type Pokemon. Uh-oh.